Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at how we can add more bubbles to our DIY hot tubs. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so one of the questions that I get asked an, an awful lot is, you know, how can I add more bubbles to, the, to my DIY hot tub? So by a DIY hot tub, I'm talking about a concrete poured or a brick built hot tub in, in this scenario. Now, they're normally very different to the plastic shell tubs in that the plastic shell tubs have literally hundreds of jets and, and air holes. And it's very different to the, the concrete or block built tubs that tend to have around you know, 16 uh, larger jets. And quite often customers want to, to increase the uh, amount of air and amount of bubbles just to give that more hot tub like experience in the tub. So how can we actually do that? Well, first of all, the larger jets that we have in a concrete or a block built hot tub will look something like this. So this is a waterway directional jet and at the back here, the, the jet itself, it accepts both water and air is drawn into it. And then the output is a, a, a bubbly combination of, of air and water. So that's kind of how the, the, the jets themselves work. And you have, as we've seen on the previous videos, and I'll, I'll drop a link into one of the more in depth on the, on the plumbing side of things. But in our concrete built hot tubs, we have a one and a half inch airline, which will run all the way around the tub. And we also have a two inch water and they're actually interconnected through those gunite bodies. So it's slightly different from the, the plastic shell tubs, but now we're gonna take a look at how we can actually add additional air and bubbles into our builds. So if we're gonna add some more air and bubbles into our concrete block or, or concrete poured hot tubs, we're gonna to need to do this in a, a very much a, a DIY method. That's obviously the method that, that I like the best. So we're gonna use some parts that aren't really designed for this, but they will give us the, the output that we were looking for. So what I have here is, uh, it's called a, a pepper pot or a, um, um, I guess it's a, it's kind of a, a flat uh, plastic connector here with, with air holes in, and this is a, a three eighths of an inch connector um, that will take three eighths of an inch pipe. So what we will do is we can connect a series of these through a manifold. This is a air manifold and what this has, this particular one has a, a one inch connection coming into it and then it splits into four three eighths of an inch. So these are really designed more for the, the plastic shell tubs but we can actually use them on our concrete and block built hot tubs. How do we do that? Well, these we could quite easily connect into uh, maybe a mesh structure that we can then drop into the seat before we fill with concrete. So if we covered up the top, we can have hidden the pipework, we can have the actual body of this sunk into the concrete. The profile of the pepper pot top is, is very low, so you wouldn't kind of feel this on the seat, but what you would get is additional air now and additional bubbles. So what we would do is we would connect this to a, a separate blower. So we'd actually have two blowers on the hot tub. So we'd have a blower that worked on the main jets and we'd have a second blower that would work just for the additional bubbles and you know the, the smaller pepper pot style jets. So if we sunk those into perhaps the seats we can add bubbles that way. Now it is very much a, a DIY method. I mean, you can see here that this one has a, a nut on it. It's de designed to be very much screwed into a plastic shell tub, but al the alternative doesn't really exist for our, our concrete or our block hot tubs. So if you are wanting to add additional bubbles, this is definitely the way to do it. If you would like more information on this or you need some assistance, please do get in touch. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.